practical imperative of life. It was difficult to get enough to eat. In fact, most human beings that were born, modern humans, probably didn't live to reproduce. They didn't pass on their DNA. We're the results of the winners. You know, most people, starvation, predation, had all kinds of challenges that would prevent people from reaching reproductive age. Taking a biological adaptation, something that's natural to the body, and applying it in a situation where people had consistent exposure to dietary excess. When you say uh, dietary excess, you mean too much calories? Too much calories. In fact, the diseases that we suffer today, the heart disease, the diabetes, the autoimmune diseases, some of the cancer, these used to be rare conditions that were called the diseases of kings. It was the wealthy elite kings that could consistently overeat, that would get the gout, that would get the heart disease. These weren't common conditions that were present for the peasants. These were uh, rarefied conditions. They've become common conditions because now people are consistently being exposed to dietary excess. And more importantly, we're fooling our brain's satiety mechanisms into overeating by putting chemicals in our food. And as a consequence, we have a situation today where 